Hello everyone. Uh, today's video we are going to talk about uh, creating ASP.NET Core MVC applications uh, with Visual Studio Code. And uh, people who are not worked with, uh, who have not worked with uh, Visual Studio uh, Code, especially uh, they have worked with Visual Studio full blown. Um, they could utilize this one, the commands, the .NET commands, how we could utilize those, creating those scaffoldings and projects, and even compile them and run them. So let's not waste more time on this. Let's get our hands dirty and see how we could create those core applications with the help of Visual Studio Code on Mac OS with the help. So friends, in order to work with the ASP.NET Core MVC, uh, especially on uh, Mac OS and using Visual Studio, uh, we need to install the .NET SDK, uh, which is a open source framework that could be installed, even the SDK. If you don't know how to install it, I will paste another link within uh, this uh, description of the video, where how you could actually see how to install those SDKs or those tools. And once those tools are installed, uh, creating a new application, uh, it's, it's not difficult or rocket science. So let's say because we want to create an MVC application. So let's say I'm in a temp folder with some folders or not. Uh, let me try out to create a MVC application so we can use a .NET. And if I just say .NET minus V, so it would uh, oops, .NET minus version. And it would let me know I have a .NET version 8.0 with SDK as well as the uh, framework. So I can actually use this command line tools to create applications or scaffolding. So let's use that for uh, creating of a core MVC application. So I'll say .NET new. I want to create an MVC application and minus O I'll give the name of the application. So let's say uh, RD test app something like this you can give any application a name but this is what i want to create so once you do that it actually creates a templating for the asp.net core web app which is a model view controller that was created and if i see this here uh, you would see a folder named rd test tab which is uh, created around here so this is the folder that contains all your scaffolding and now you could start playing with it you could use the scaffolding to develop those applications now what we do is in order to see furthermore uh, let's open our visual uh, studio code and uh, let's say uh, we just want to use i'll open the folder and specifically the folder within that which we created rd test tab and i'll open that now, once we open the folder, uh, I'm just going to trust it and it's going to create certain few things because I've already installed the extensions of C Sharp and C Sharp Dev Kit. So it automatically creates some solution files or not. But if you see, uh, you would get a familiar outlook of the ASP.NET Core MVC uh, structure. You have a controllers folder, you have a models, you have views, and you have some other WW root also, so which you could be utilizing it. So now what we need to do, firstly, let's see if we could actually build this application and run it. So what we can go there is we will just go on to the terminal and uh, this is our terminal. And if I just want to build it, so I could just run a command called as .NET build. So once I run this, it actually starts compiling the project and it sees everything is fine. There is no warning, there's zero error. So all looks good. And fundamentally, if I need to run this, so I could use .NET run and it would actually start running the application. So the application starts running on the Kestrel server, which is HTTP localhost 5037. So if I hold my option button, like the command button on the uh, Mac OS uh, keyboard. So once I click on this, it would actually open out. And if you see uh, my application is running, I could go on to home, privacy, uh, test app which is the home app so just like the home page and everything looks fine so this makes sense uh, because it actually goes through uh, everything and then it actually does that now what i do is i just press ctrl c and it actually stops the kestrel server and it starts building it out now i could also use dotnet watch run now watch means it's a kind of a hot reloading. So it means if there is a change in the code, it is automatically going to reload this stuff for you. You don't have to stop the server, restart it. So that's the beauty of the .NET uh, uh, framework on um, like with all those features that were expected. So if I run this .NET watch run, so once I run this, 
So it actually starts building it and then it runs the server, which is looking fine. Now I just want to kind of make some change out here. So let's go back and because it is in the views, it's in the home and it's in my index. So let's say I just display patch two. Uh, this is added by me uh, uh, in the page, something like this. Once I save it, so no hot, uh, hot reload changes to apply because it has been changed and I just moved on to that. It's automatically displayed over here. Or even if you go back and let's say I go on to a controller because it's a home controller and uh, within the index section. So let's say I create a view data, uh, which is let's say my data and I'll just simply specify ASP.NET Core MVC app, right? So that's what it is. Once I do that, I can even go back to the views again, uh, which is indexed on this one, and I could actually display that. So let's say H3, I'll use view data, and then what I'll do is my data is the name of the variable, and I just want to display it over here. So once I save this, it's automatically hot reload is there. I go back to the browser and see those changes are automatically displayed here. So it's a welcome change. Uh, initially, when I used to work, uh, things were pretty different. You would have to restart this uh, Visual Studio project again, restart the server, hot reloading was not there, and then it was difficult. And then, of course, uh, this is more likely a Visual Studio code rather than a full-blown Visual Studio, uh, which we could use that does the templating through a visual aspect. But I hope guys, uh, this is something which is good for you. Uh, people who have not started off with creating applications on .NET framework with the tooling and VS code, and especially on the Apple Silicon, this is gonna help them to create an application. You could start putting add more controllers, more views or whatnot, whatever your requirements are and uh, do with your programming. I'll be back with some more videos. So please stay tuned and have a good one guys. Thank you.